Hello dear students. In the last lecture we have seen the definition of the direct product of groups and uh, we have also seen one example. Now uh, let's look at yet another example but this time we will discuss the order of an element in the direct product of groups. So as a, as a problem to begin with let's determine the order of the element 4 comma 2 in the direct product of z12 with z8 okay uh, by the way even if it is not mentioned it is understood that if i refer to zn as a group then the operation that i have in mind is addition modulo n because we know that with respect to multiplication modulo n it's not a group so it is understood that whenever we talk about zn the operation on it is addition modulo n so let's find out what is the order of the element 4 comma 2. Since this is an additive kind of a group, I need to take multiples of the element, not integral powers. So let me start with 1 times 4 bar comma 2 bar, which will be the same as 4 bar comma 2 bar. Next. Let me find out what is 2 times 4 bar comma 2 bar. This actually means 4 bar comma 2 bar star 4 bar comma 2 bar. And uh, now I need to combine the first element with the first, the second element with the second. But the first element has to be combined with the first element using whatever operation is there in the first group. Our first group is Z12. So between these two elements, I need to write the operation addition modulo 12. Likewise, when I combine the second element with the second element, I have to do that using the binary operation of the second group. My second group is Z8. So, The operation in the second group is going to be addition modulo 8. So when I now combine this, this 4 bar plus 4 bar will be 8 bar. And 2 bar plus 2 bar is going to be 4 bar. That is how we compute 2 times 4 bar comma 2 bar. Let us now find out what will be 3 times 4 bar comma 2 bar. So this is going to be 4 bar, addition modulo 12, 4 bar, addition modulo 12, 4 bar, comma, 2 bar, added to itself 3 times using the operation addition modulo 8. So 4 bar plus 4 bar plus 4 bar is going to give me 12 bar and 2 bar plus 2 bar plus 2 bar is going to be 6 bar. But the first element is coming from the group Z12 because it is Z12 cross Z8. So the first element in the ordered pair comes from the first group that is Z12 and in Z12, 12 bar is the same as 0 bar. So this will be 0 bar comma 6 bar. Let us now find out what will be 4 times 4 bar comma 2 bar. So it will be 4 bar plus 4 bar plus 4 bar plus 4 bar comma 2 bar plus 2 bar plus 2 bar plus 2 bar. So this will be 16 bar comma 8 bar. First, uh, keeping in mind that the first element comes from Z12 and the second element comes from Z8, let us simplify. 16 bar in Z12 is 4 bar. So this will be 4 bar. Whereas the other element, the second element 8 bar is from Z8 which is the same as 0 bar. So this becomes 4 bar comma 0 bar. Let us now calculate 5 times 4 bar comma 2 bar. You can pause the video and do the calculations on your own and then get back to the video and Check your answer. But 5 times 4 bar will be 4 bar plus 4 bar added to itself 5 times. That will give me 20 bar and 5 twos are 10. 
first element is from Z12. So this will be 8 bar and this will be 2 bar. Okay. Let us next look at 6 times 4 bar comma 2 bar. That is 24 bar comma 12 bar. That will be 0 bar. 0 bar comma 12 bar is in Z8. So that will be 4 bar. Okay. Then 7 times 7 times 4 bar comma 2 bar 7 times 4 bar comma 2 bar will be 7 fours are 28 7 twos are 14 so this is going to be 28 minus 24 that is 4 and 14 minus 8 is going to be 6 so we will get 4 times 6 I want you to continue doing this Maybe we'll, we'll take just one more example. 8 times 4 bar comma 2 bar will be 32 comma 16. 32 will be uh, 32 minus 24 is going to be 8 and 16 bar is going to be 0 bar. Okay. So 9 times 4 bar comma 2 bar will be 36 comma 18 36 is 0 bar and 18 minus 16 is 2 So I have done a few calculations for you all. You can pause your video, go through it and then uh, restart the video. So you will notice that the first time the identity of Z12 cross Z8 is 0 bar comma 0 bar. And the first time I hit the identity for the multiple 12. So by the definition it is clear that the order of 4 bar comma 2 bar the order of 4 bar comma 2 bar is 12. So that answers the question. The order of the element 4 bar comma 2 bar in the group Z12 cross Z8 is 12. But let us see why exactly we got this. Uh, notice that the order of 4 bar in Z12. The order of 4 bar in Z12 is 3. So, the first time that I get 0 bar in the first place. The first time I get 0 bar in the first place is for the multiple 3. That's because the order of 4 bar is 3. So, 3 times 4 bar has to give me 0 bar. So, and I will keep getting 0 bar in the first place. See, where else I've got 0 bar. I've got 0 bar for the multiple 6. I am talking about the first place. I have also got a 0 bar in the first place for the multiple 9. And finally I have again got a 0 bar in the first place for the multiple 12. Notice that 3, 6, 9 and 12 are all multiples of 3. But this is to be expected from the properties of order of an element. If the order of 4 bar is 3, then I am going to get uh, 3 times the... Uh, 3 times 4 bar will be 0 bar and every multiple of 3 times 4 bar will also be 0 bar. So, if I want a 0 bar in the first place, I need that multiple to be either 3. I mean, I need this number to be either 3 or a multiple of 3. So, to get a 0 in the first place, I need a multiple of 3. That is because the order of the first element is 3. So to get a 0 bar in the first place, this number has to be a multiple of 3. Only then I will get 0 bar in the first place. Similarly, look at the element 2 bar. In the second group Z8, 
the order of two bar the second element comes from the group z8 so i need to look at the order of this group in z uh, this element in the group z8 order of this element is 4 in the in z8 i'll come a little later to what will be the order but order of two bar is 4 so 4 times 2 bar will give me 0 bar and any multiple of 4 times 2 bar will also give me 0 bar so you can you can actually figure out See where we have got a 0 bar in the second place. We have got a 0 bar in the second place. When I have 4 as this number. Next time I get a 0 bar in the second place. Is when this multiple is 8. And the next time I get 0 bar in the second place. Is when I again have 12. That is a multiple of 4. So remember to get a 0 bar in the second place. I need this number to be a multiple of 4. And what did we say about getting 0 bar in the first place? To get a 0 bar in the first place, it has to be a multiple of 3. Because the order of the first element is 3. Order of the second element is 4. So every multiple of 4 times this element will also give us 0 bar. So to get a 0 bar in the first place, I need the number to be a multiple of 3. To get a 0 bar in the second place, I need a multiple of 4. But if I am simultaneously looking for 0 bar in the first place as well as the second place, it will have to be a multiple of 3 as well as 4. Right? So it will have to be both a multiple of 3 as well as 4. So I am looking for a common multiple of 3 and 4. So I will get a 0 bar in the first place and a 0 bar in the second place. If this number happens to be a common multiple of 3 and 4. So even if I do 24 times 4 bar comma 2 bar, I will get 0 bar comma 0 bar. Or for that matter, if I take this number as 36 also, I will get 0 bar comma 0 bar. But I am looking for the smallest such positive integer. So I am looking for the least such number. So I am looking for the least common multiple. And as you can see, the least common multiple of 3 and 4 was 12. That is why this became the first power which gave me the identity. So the order of this element is 12. So in general that gives me an idea as to what will be the order of an element in the direct product, the general direct product. So let me write that result down for you. Let us take an element A1, A2, AN in the direct product of the groups G1, G2, GN. Let us assume that the order of each of these individual elements is finite. So if order of each AI is finite, and let us say that the order of AI is RI. If the order of AI is RI, then the order of the element A1, A2, AN, of course this order that I am talking about is in the group GI. So the order of this N tuple in the product group will be the LCM, of R1, R2, Rn. This should be fairly obvious now from the previous example. So if the order of this element is R1, this element is R2, this element is Rn, then in the product group, the order of this element, the n tuple will be LCM of R1, R2, Rn. And before we wind up this lecture, let me also remind you about this. I have already done this in an earlier lecture where we discussed orders. But let me tell you once again, in Zn, the order of m bar, in the group Zn, the order of m bar is n divided by GCD of m and f. I want you all to keep this in mind. So it will be easier for you to solve the problems on the direct product. That's all for now. Thank you.